Good morning, everyone. This is your friend and brother, Derek Day, coming to you once again with your everyday encouragement. And today is Thankful Thursday. This is the day when we're specifically expressing gratitude for what we've learned and what we've accomplished during the week. And not only for what we've learned and for what we've accomplished, but for what God has done for us. And I really get excited about any time I get the opportunity to share gratitude. But today is really special because today I want to talk about being thankful for thinking. See, listen, thinking is a very special exercise. It is something that God gave as a gift to mankind. He gave us the faculty to reason like he does. It gave us the ability to think like he does. It gave us the ability to uh, calculate and to create like he did. And this is really exciting. But the thing is, is that thinking is actually an exercise. Thinking is something that requires effort. There are many people that make the mistake of confusing thinking with consciousness. Just because you're awake doesn't mean that you're thinking. You have to actually apply some effort to focus, to concentrate, to process, and to analyze. And these are things that constitute thinking. Watch this. The reason why Paul said that we are transformed by the renewing of our minds because the mind is the beginning of everything in the realm of the soul. If you think about your soul as a nation consisting of the states of mind, will, intellect, and emotion, your mind is the capital city of that nation. And so if you take the mind, the nation will follow. Gotta catch that. So here's the thing, when you're thinking, you don't just accept anything at face value. See, this is where people get it twisted with the whole concept of obedience because see, they, they say obedience means to simply accept and that's not the case. Even my sons, I give them the right, the dominion, if you will, to question my authority. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you, you just disobey me or whatever, that, that you just try to run contrary to what I'm trying to uh, accomplish in the family. But if I say something or do something that they think is not exactly right or that, that there's maybe a better way, I give them the right to, hey, dad, can, can we talk about that? And, and I give them the, and, and we've developed a really good relationship around this because you, you have to give people the ability to make decisions on their own. And that's what God gives us. God gives us the ability. God doesn't demand blind obedience. God told Isaiah, come let us reason together. So I'm thankful for the ability to think. I'm thankful for the ability to question things that I either I don't understand or, or I don't agree with. I'm thankful for people who God has placed in my life who think. I'm not, and listen, I'm not really concerned about having people around me that just simply think like me. My job isn't to try to get people to think like me. Is to get people to think. And so I'm glad that I'm around people who think. I have friends that, that are that are Christians uh, that are, um, well, I mean, that in my mind that they are on the legalistic end of the spectrum, but they're my friends and I love them. And they think and they reason and they're able to articulate their points. I have friends who are preterists. I have friends who are universalists. I have friends who are Muslims. I have friends who are Hindu. I have friends who are Buddhist. I have friends who are atheists. And I love them all. And I especially love those who think and the ones who are able to articulate their beliefs, their ideas, their outlook on life concisely. 
So I'm thankful for thinking. I'm thankful that God has given me a mind to think, and I'm thankful that he's given you a mind to think. And what I really want you to take away from this is this. Think. Apply thought to every concept. Apply thought to every doctrine. Apply thought to every concept in any design. Apply thought to it and ask questions. Do not simply accept something because someone is in authority and they say it. You have the right to question. You have the right to question uh, any authority, even God. Moses questioned God. Abraham questioned God. The, listen, and God is so big that God doesn't mind you asking questions. He doesn't mind you questioning him. In fact, I'll go so far as to say God invites your questions. He wants you to ask questions and he wants you to challenge things because he wants you to understand it because if you don't understand it, you cannot apply it. Now, you put that in your pipe and smoke it. That's all I have for today. I pray that it blesses you. Man, put on your thinking caps and think. Apply reason. Apply some, some processing, some analytics to whatever it is that you're looking at. Do not accept anything at face value. And please do not fall into the trap of blind obedience. God doesn't demand it and no one else should. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up at www.derekday.com or on facebook.com forward slash Derek Day Ministries. You can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. My handle is Derek E. Day. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-E-D-A-Y. Or you can check out our videos on YouTube. The channel is Derek Day. Or you can check out our podcasts on iTunes or Google Play. In any case, all of this stuff is there simply to bless you. It's to, it's to help you walk in the liberty in Christ that it can only be found in God's unconditional love and unlimited grace. And that being said, God loves you. And so do I. Have a thoroughly terrific Thursday. Stay blessed.